guys we're out here on day six i can't show myself on the camera because i'm wearing the new w25 stuff but uh how's the trip been so far been pretty good i mean chase has been on the mission it's just been getting bangers after bangers after bangers i mean i hope you guys are ready because we're gonna have a lot of footage coming out march 25th for the the premiere of our new gear which is going to be actually available available for pre-order on march 25 like i said earlier and i mean i hope you guys are ready because chase has been on the mission yeah so we're doing like you're doing like an episode for this so trip. what i'm doing is i actually drove here with my bus which is a converted bus into a camper and my plan this year is to make like an episode with me traveling into my camper so i got i went to quebec i went to bc then i'm probably gonna go to alberta after that and then we'll have an episode out for you guys to enjoy our riding and stuff so yeah me me shredding in the next coming days we're gonna meet up with uh brandon right Yep. hopefully do some jumping and stuff oh yeah big jumps well we got some bangers already so yep. that should be pretty interesting you'll have to wait and see that's dropping on the 25th as well as long as the uh the no, new gear. the episode's gonna be dropping on april for uh april 1st april 1st yep. okay so drops on april 1st but there will be ads of all the bangers exactly, before that exactly. as well so stay tuned for that let's go do another epic day on the snow oh, yeah. one two Do it. I didn't want to hit it, if, but you. Oh, I don't. You told me to go in, so. <laughs> okay, man. Oh, that's cool. I just, yeah, didn't kick me like I expected. I blew through it. So I'm gonna hit it a little slower and then just look more. Drop it in! <laughs> That was 
was straight upside down. season day 44 or 45 and we finally got some carnage nothing major i don't know how much this vent is but probably not too much i think i just blew that off i didn't break anything there and uh smashed the res reservoir right off here so that's gone that's i don't know how much that is probably not cheap and then bent my handlebars back like a quite a bit so I don't know what happened there. I just uh, almost did a park job up there and uh, hit that tree with uh, the left handlebar. So, God damn it. Okay, you got that on there, back to normal. Next up, we're gonna get this off, clean the snow out of there and uh, tape that up. Got the tuck tape job, all nice, protected. No uh, pine needles had to take the hood off and dump the pine needles out because they got in there didn't want to suck them into the motor now the bars got to point them up a little bit i got my contraption here of the trail tech comes with so many damn wires and all you need to connect is just one so that looks a little goofy but we'll get that done and then I'll show you how the finished product looks this guy is all in one dude here he's a filmer a owner of peak outerwear pretty good rider old professional skier and now he's a mechanic on my sled i got it easy out here ah good stuff <laughs> at least it's sunny not snowing or raining that's a, a bonus okay so we got the tuck tape we got the vent back on we got the bars straightened up i think they look good i actually haven't stood on them brake reservoir is still messed but uh we're back in action. Dustin's gonna do some stuff on this hill before we head out. Let's go do this, Dustin. See what you're made of. <laughs> Gotta warm the sleds up. We've been stopped for probably an hour fixing this thing, so.
heading out of Frisbee here. Looks like there's got some more snow. A lot more snow, usually it's fully covered, but more than before. We made her. Look at that sweet rig. Oh, pretty sweet. That is pretty cool, yep. Then we got this guy with this homemade setup here. Plywood OBS board actually. Yeah, that's something else too. Custom job. Oh that's really custom, wow. <laughs> Holy. Yeah, that guy needs a bulletproof sled deck right there. <laughs> So we just got back to the trailer here. We are going to fix up the parts here. I just went over to Revive Power Sports, picked up a new brake reservoir and a new left side air vent. That's all the damage that I did. So we're just gonna replace that. I think I only need a screwdriver and a T25 and I should be good to go, so. They actually sell used parts at Revive Power Sports too. So this was $40, just gonna replace that. Unscrew this, pop this on. Fill it full of brake fluid and uh, and then bleed the brakes. And we should be good to go. A little bit of brake fluid. So just finish it up. About to put the old wrap on there too from uh, Poire Wraps. So I guess you can peel and stick that thing, and uh, it should. It looks like it's gonna stick again. So. Uh, Went on there pretty good, just some heat gun to get it off and back on, no problem. Tighten this down, bled the brakes, and uh, replace the air vent. 100 bucks, pretty good fix. So uh, thanks for watching the video, everyone. Hope you enjoyed another day of uh, kind of behind the scenes of filming with Peak Outerwear. So uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.